I'm Gina and today I'm going to share with you how to install a Lutron motion sensor light switch. It'll take an ordinary light switch and turn it into a fancy motion sensor one. Um, there's a lot of great aspects. A, it's perfect for bathrooms where kids run in and they forget to turn the light off and it will help with your electricity bills and you can quit saying, turn the light off. So let's switch it out. The first thing you're going to need is a few tools, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a small tiny little flat head screwdriver, some wire pliers, a drill is helpful but not necessary, I love my, my drill so I'm going to use it, um, and you'll also need this switch and it comes with a wire nut, you'll also need a faceplate set um, which I'll have to purchase separately. So the first thing we're going to do is um, take the original light switch plate off. Um, it's super easy to do. There's a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. And you just unscrew these and it will pop right off. Easy peasy. So then you set it aside. Before you start messing with the inside of here, make sure that you cut your, your power off at your circuit breaker. You don't want to be digging on wires that are not cut on. And this one is already cut off the light, which you can't see, but it's up there above your above the camera. Um, it's not on, so I know the power is cut. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to use my drill to do this, but you can totally do it with a screwdriver. And by the way, let me just mention that I'm doing this without my husband. You don't have to have a guy to do this project. That's how simple it is. So I'm going to take out the screws that actually hold the electrical bit in, the light switch itself, and it pulls right out. And in there, there's going to be a bunch of wires, and I want to pull out as far as I possibly can so that I have plenty of room to work with. So we're going to get closer in so that we, I can show you guys better. Um, sorry about the switcheroo there. So the first thing is you're going to have wires. And there's one, two, three wires on mine. There will probably be three on yours as well. Um, there's a top wire here, a bottom wire here, and then the ground wire is on the other side. So you can, this particular light switch, it has holes that you can adjoin it, and the new one does as well. Um, but you can also wrap those, sometimes they'll be wrapped around the screw. Um, the main thing is, is you want to keep this one towards the top and this one towards the bottom while you're changing it out so you don't get your wires crossed, literally. So I'm going to take my little screwdriver, and I'm going to pop it around. There's a little slot here. You take your screwdriver and you press really hard down in there. And there's a release. And you'll feel it push through. And once it does, you can pull that wire out. Okay, so as you can see, we completely removed the old light switch. Um, and I put the top wire towards the top, the bottom wire towards the bottom, and the ground wire is in the middle. So. We're going to start by looking at our light switch, and you can either wrap it around these sections, um, but it also has a plug in the back, and the plug is easier, so I'm going with the plug. The other thing is, is that this is my ground wire, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten it out, because we're going to use the wire nut to adhere it to the ground wire on the switch. So I'm going to take the bottom wire and there's a hole there and you just push it in as far as you possibly can. And the top wire, you want to do the same. Push it in as far as you possibly can. And then you want to take the ground wire and ever so slightly twist them around and then take your wire nut and screw it onto the two. So you get a really good connection. Now the tricky part is pushing all this back up into that tiny box. And it's not always easy to do. But it is feasible. 
So you just want to get it all up in the box as best as you can. And you want to make sure when you're installing it that this little piece is at the bottom. It says up, so you know which way goes up and which way goes down. But you want to make sure that you have it lined up properly. So now that we have it ready to go, we're going to take the screws and put them um, back in the the light switch. So the light switch is in and what we're going to do is finish putting it in the box. So there's a slot here and you want to make sure that you put the screw straight into the electrical box. And I'm going to do the first one and then I'm going to start the second one down below, back going down below. And you can kind of level it up by, uh, you have wiggle room to put it in. Okay, so after you get that part put in, the last step, can't believe we're finally to the last step, is to take, there's a little hole above where you just put the first screw. And you're going to put this on top, and you want to put those tiny screws that come with the switch plate right inside of that plate. So you want to screw that right in. I'm going to take the second screw, right, put it in the bottom. And then your last piece, which covers everything up beautifully, is this little piece. And that's how you switch a regular light switch to a motion sensor. There's tons of settings you can do inside. Um, <clears throat> the amazing people at Lutron asked me to try this for about 30 days to see if it would help with my electricity costs. And so we're going to try it. And sometime in September, I will tell you guys how it worked. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.